Hello and thank you for joining us. This tutorial will walk you through how you can create an online ticket via our Sage customer portal. It's a simple process, takes just a few moments. You can bring up your internet browser and you'll type support.na.sage.com. Again, that's support dot na dot sage dot com. This will take you right out to our Sage customer portal. Now alternatively, you can also get to our Sage customer portal from within your Sage Business Works product by going to help, support and service on the web, online support. Once you are in our Sage customer portal, on the right hand side you'll see a red button with a star that says cases. Click on this button. Now click on the link to submit a customer support case. This will bring you to a point in the customer portal where you can now open an online ticket. If you have more than one Sage product, you'll need to select the Sage Business Works. If you only own Sage Business Works, it will default to the Sage Business Works accounting client server. We want to now select a category that best fits our question. The first one is the question category. For this example, we're going to use processing. And for our subcategory, we're going to indicate that it's when we're doing posting uh, batches entries that we have a question. It will now bring you to a new screen. First, you'll need to select your service plan. For me, I only have one service plan. If you have others listed here, you will need to select the one that's in white. Make sure it's selected. Now, we want to type a brief subject. We're going to say how to avoid a check. And then we want to put a detailed description. And I'm going to say my printer jammed and the check didn't print. How can I void and reprint this check? Then we need to select the module. The module in our case is going to be accounts payable. The version, and you can find the version of your product within the Sage Business Works program by going again to help and down to about. And you will see the version right here where it's top line where it says Sage Business Works Accounting. I'm on version 2018. So we list our version, version 2018. If you do have any attachments, let's say that you're getting an error message and you've taken a screenshot of that error message, go ahead and click the attachments button and it will allow you to hit a browse button and select, select it and it will, and I'll just say it's the error message and then I can just go ahead and attach this. All right. So again, give us as much detail as possible. If you are getting an error message, then you may want to give us the complete error message. That's very helpful when we're calling you back. Sometimes we can just find the article in our knowledge base that's going to resolve that error message. But we would like the complete error message. If you are looking at reports and you see something that you're questioning, if you could just attach the report to the case, that would be helpful as well. Then we just hit save and your ticket has been submitted. Now this ticket is going to give you a, a ticket number or a case number and you'll see that your request number is 800 Six four two two nine six seven, and this is on how to void a check. All right, so we can say done. That case will now come directly into the Sage Business Works customer support inbox. We can open it up, take a look at your question. My printer jammed. The check didn't print. How can I avoid and reprint this check? So it's as simple as that. Once we receive your case, we'll open up the case, look at your question. We'll go out and search our knowledge base to see if there's a way to void and reprint a check and we'll send you that information. If we cannot find anything or if your question seems a little bit more complex, then we will schedule a time to call you. This is already going to give you the resolution, so we'll email this to you and then do a little follow-up call to make sure that you've resolved your issue. One other thing you can do is while you're in the customer portal and you're on the manage cases or where you're submitting a case, you can go to the upper left and click on the manage cases and you'll see case history. 
and under the case history you're going to see all the cases that you have submitted now here we've got a date range of between July 30th through 2017 but we could go back to 2016 and say submit and we can get all the cases that have been submitted for like the last year you can see all the case notes that were entered by the analyst if you would like to refresh your memory or if the issue occurs again you can go back to the case notes and get the resolution on how it was resolved on the previous case. In addition to being able to see the case notes you also will be able to view the status of the case and if you were charged for that case. You also can update the case so after you read the case notes if you need to make an update to this case just come out select it click on the update button enter the additional information this case is still not resolved I still need help and then just submit and it will update the case this does conclude our tutorial on how you can submit a new case online how you can manage and view your cases online or how you can update an existing ticket online we hope you find this useful thank you for joining us today